Wait, so have you, did you use Object Box? Yeah, I've used Ob- Object Box in a very small app. And uh, right. it's mostly I, I need it? a query. Um, it, it's been it's been very it, it's it's working really well. I have to say it's pretty good. <laughs> right. So like compared to compared, compared to Hive, to Hive mm-hmm. I, I, I can see like, here that I can see I can see here the times are a lot less compared to Hive. Yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> what <laughs> what's what's the what's the down what's the downside of Object Box compared to Hive? Uh, there's none on the top of my head. Right. So I should be using Object Box. Uh, I don't know yet because I don't know how well Object Box supports web, but I do know that oh. Hive working on web is working pretty well. Like Hive is like really good plugin and use option, and even yeah. though it, it's like even though it's like not the newest, it still works the best. Um, I feel like just in terms of my personal experience. Right. Uh, yeah, it does been... have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does have like the issue of migration um, that I mentioned, but migration is like an issue for every single database, right? It's not like a Hive issue. But um, another issue, though, that's the second issue I had with with Hive, was mm. uh, was sort of related to migration. But it's like the issue of deleting the database, and my, mm. from my experience. Deleting the database doesn't work on all platforms. On, on web, but deleting the database uh, didn't work for some reason. And I had to write some like platform code. Like I have to write some JavaScript code, which is like three lines of code. But like, um, but I could say that I wrote some JavaScript code <laughs> just to <laughs> delete the database. It's like a very simple API to say like, oh, local store dot clear, and then, uh, mm. but but I have to like say, oh, um, like from. Dart to call the JavaScript function just on web, um, but yeah, that's that's the only other downside. Uh, but yeah, Hive has been working really well for me. Yeah, from the from the experience I've had, I've just I just love Hive. It's just <laughs> so seamless. It just works. And I'm, oh, can I ask you about your uh, David's app, which is Rivals, which I think is a great idea because I I was um, trying to make a habit tracker as well, but you're making a habit forming but social connection so that it yeah, holds sorry. you accountable right so how yeah. does how does that work on your app because i imagine with hive it's obviously for local storage how do you mm. do you are you in your rivals app are you actually using some other uh, online database as well to connect between yeah, uh, uh, two uses um yes there's there's an online database there's a post sql uh, postgres sql um, database um, on on the back end, but um, obviously, like you you, you want to like cache the data, right? Just to, for just for faster loads. Uh, so for locally, I have just hire for caching, and it, it's interesting how you know the project has to move quickly. Uh, you you want to add features and stuff, uh, and there are so mm. many different types of data just flowing around. For example, there's the user, there's user, there's post, there's comment. And aside from that, there's like the challenge. That's like the, the rivals thing. There's like a challenge that users could do, and in the challenges, uh, in the challenge, um, users could create parties. So that's a different object. And in the parties, there's like a chat. There's there's so many things, <laughs> uh, and like how you want to like keep, you know, your data consistent from from um, from server to client, and the way we end up doing it. Was that so? This this way was, um, or this architecture was created by my friend who started this project, um, and his his way of doing it is that he vaguely uses the block architecture, where you know there's like a there's an there's an object that emits events, and UI elements can listen to the events. So this block uh, business log business logic, um, like. I, I, component, yeah, that's. I think that's like the full name. Um, this architecture, but for every block, um, there's a hive object. Uh, there's a hive object tied to it, and then mm. what the app would do is that the app would you know fetch the data, and then it will it will persist the data into Hive, and then every time when the app needs a piece of data, it will always tries to to read it from Hive and it will like load the data. It will load like maybe an outdated piece of data. And then the async data will be on the way. And then as soon as the async mm-hmm. data arrives, 
it, it will it will replace you know the local stored piece of data. Mm. And then the best part of this is that um, we we keep we keep the online version of the, the database and the local storage, um, you know, the the data structure of it to be very consistent. And then when we when we move when we like when we migrate when we add the new features, we try to like maintain this model so that uh, we have like less overhead. So we always understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Hive has been really good at keeping the consistency. Like it, it's able to keep up with the server. It's able to like just keep the same data structure that you, you have less overhead. It, you give, it gives you like a really good developer experience. And that's what's been going on with with rivals. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Side. So how many, I mean, I don't know, you can just share as much as, you know, you're comfortable sharing, mm-hmm. but like how many users are using it right now? Yeah, currently Is- uh, we had around, I don't remember the numbers, but like. Uh, but I you have real we, people using it. Yeah, uh, we had around like 300, I don't know, like a really low number of downloads. Um that's that's a lot. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but we we really like seek to like just um because we just started we just started our first like um campaign of um of like um ads right. um, on Instagram. <clears throat> Ooh. And I have to say like uh, mobile apps, like apps uh, or ads for mobile apps are are difficult, you know, to sell. Yeah, I feel like that's like a completely new mm. area for me. Like I have yeah. no experience. In. 